this thing, this thing. Let's have a look. This is the Anchor Trainer, uh, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works and how you can use it uh, either in your commercial gym, if, you, if you're a strength coach and you train athletes, or it's a fantastic addition to your home gym. I'll tell you exactly why. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. I'm an exercise physiologist who specializes in off-ice training for hockey goalies. What a coincidence. You're a goalie and that's that. <laughs> Let's look at it. So I first uh, became aware of this. My friend Devin McConnell is a strength coach for the New Jersey Devils. Uh, and he posted, and I'm always like, what? what? How? De Devin has a new toy? I, wa I want a new toy. Uh, so I <laughs> let my fingers do the walking, and I ordered one of these. So I paid for this with my allowance. Uh, they did not give it to me. They did not ask me to make a video, but I actually did reach out to them just because I wanted to learn more about it. How does it work? How, how exactly does it work? So based on that discussion, my experiences with it, I've had it a couple months now. I'm going to tell you all about it. So there are a couple different ways you can mount it. I have it on the strap mount so I can put it on my power rack. I also have a wall mount for it, but it's not uh, installed because I don't really have a wall yet that is suitable to mount it. But I like this, this strap mount actually a lot anyway, because I can just undo the Velcro and then I can attach it at any height I want. Now here's one thing you need to be aware of is if I'm attaching it for pulling straight or down, it will go this way up. And so it says right on it, uh, this side up for horizontal or downward exercises. Let's say I wanted to do a low to high lift, then I would flip it around and install it the other way around. So it's just either it goes this way or it goes that way. So we'll just be doing some horizontal pulls. So I just set that on. It's got a really like nice, strong, like machined aluminum plate that has a good rubber uh, gripper on there. So it doesn't slide around at all. Like I've never had this thing budge one little bit. So I get it centered and then I just tighten up that Velcro. Now, when I was talking to Isaac, from Angkor the other day, asking him how it works and how hard have they tried to break it and <laughs> all these questions. He said that they've actually changed a little bit of the amount to add just a little cable um, so that if this Velcro were to release, the, the thing is still going to be essentially attached to the frame. I've never had it even creep a little bit, but it's good to know that there, I, I like companies that are always looking for ways to make things better. When you actually use this machine, I think of it, I describe it as a poor man's Kaiser machine. So if you've trained at a gym that has a Kaiser machine, you'll know that there's, you have to have a compressor and then, you know, they're sort of more or less standalone pieces to do different exercises. But what it does is it gives you a consistent resistance. Uh, like, and no matter the speed you go, you know, it's nice and smooth. So this feels very much like that. So I was asking him like, how, is there a spring in there? How does it work? And it is uh, a spring loaded mechanism. In the first foot or so, it might be a little bit lighter, but in the middle, and you can go along like, this is how far I can go. Once I get out here, um, now I start to feel some tension, like to tell me like, hey, you're getting towards the end, just cool your jets a little bit. But really in this whole middle range, you know, it, it's the same, it's the same consistent resistance all the way through. So I can use this just as a regular cable column to do uh, like a row or a press or whatever, or a chop. Uh, but I could also use it, you know, explosively and there's not going to be any jumping or jerking or, you know, anything like that. So it's very, very cool in that respect. To increase the resistance, you use these little bricks. So they go on, you know, look and get the arrows lined up right. They go on just like that. And that adds resistance. So they just label the resistance 5, 10, um, yeah, just 5 and 10. So if I want to juice it up a little bit, now there's more resistance as I pull 
and go through. But again, it's a, it's a consistent resistance. It doesn't get, like when I use a resistance band, which I still really love resistance bands. I think if you're just going to get one thing, get a little resistance band kit. You can travel with it. It's cheap. It's awesome. But with a resistance band, it's going to be very, very easy when it's in the shortened position. And then as you pull it out, it's going to get harder and harder and harder. So the resistance increases. Whereas this one, I basically set the resistance and it's going to stay there uh, no matter what. I'll make a video with more exercises that we can do with this and give you more examples of how to use it. But you're going to ask, well, what? What? How does that help a goalie? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Let me go get my little waist belt and I'll show you. I've shown you my waist belt before. Uh, I just like, got, went to a camping store, got fast tax buckle, some little end lock thingamaboobers, uh, this little sliding D-ring, ding-a-dong, and a carabiner. So that's, that's my homemade uh, exercise, advanced functional training exercise belt. So here's where I love this thing for working with goalies specifically is that with my resistance band and you know, you could buy longer resistance bands or whatever, but I can kind of get one push, maybe two pushes out of it. But with this, let's say I'm working on my outer range shuffle pushes. So not in here sort of from my neutral range, but working from the outer range, getting that outer range strength, you know, I can get one, two, three, four, you know, I can get about five, quick pushes. It's also pulling me back. So I'm getting uh, assistance from it coming back, which is actually nice because then this hip that's doing the pushing, it also has to work to do some of the decelerating. So I can work on it like that. I can also do, um, you know, some nice lateral pushes. So really from anywhere, and it's going to pull me back as I drive out. So I can do a narrow stance, I can do outer range, pulls me back, pulls me back. So not only is this like driving, working concentrically to push, it's also working eccentrically to absorb. There are hundreds, dozens, dozens and hundreds, dozens of exercises that we can do using this. And I'll make, or you let me know, drop a comment below if you want me to show you some other exercises we can do using this. You could also use a resistance band. This gives more consistent resistance. This gives um, a little more flexibility because I've got all that travel distance that I can work with. But you tell me, if you want me to do a video showing you some more goalie specific variations using this, pop it in the comments below. Your wish is my command. One of the big questions I asked Isaac about when I chatted with him was, how hard have you guys tried to break this thing? you know, running it to the end, things like that. He said, yeah, we've tried pretty hard and it's, it's held up really, really well. It's been super durable. He says, you know, they know that the, that the cable, it, it's like a rope, but to say it's a rope is a uh, under service because it's like a high quality rope. My dad used to be bananas about sailing. So I know all about rope and sheet. And this is like a really nice high quality rope. So it's going to be very durable, but it's a part that maybe over time is going to wear out. They actually do have a replacement program where they can replace the rope on the unit. So it's not, you know, when you come to the end of your rope, as it were, <laughs> uh, that's not going to be the end of your system. So I, I like it. I like it too, because I can, you know, take it with me when we can travel again and I'm traveling to work with goalies. Super easy to just throw that in my bag, even though I usually do carry on. I could throw this in my carry on bag, attach it to, you know, a, a power rack or anything stable where I'm going and know that I'm going to get good training. So that is the Anchor Trainer. And I think if you want to learn more about it, their website is just anchortraining.com. A N C O R E training.com. Follow them on Instagram because they have strength coaches from different sports sending in videos, sharing how they use it. Uh, and I think you'll really find it informative. But like I said, 
they didn't pay me to make the video. I bought it with my allowance. They didn't ask me to make the video, but I really think it's been a great addition to the lab. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. If you're like, I don't want to buy a pulley. I don't want the price. You're going to ask how much it costs. I don't remember exactly how much it costs. I think it was in the neighborhood of 450 US dollars. So it, again, it's not cheap, but this is a high quality piece. Like NHL teams are using this. This isn't, you know, just like your fitness, your home fitness equipment. This is this is a commercial grade piece, so it's not going to be cheap. If you're like, no, I don't want to spend any money, then I've got an answer for you too. Go to your app store, type in Butterfly Challenge. It is a free goalie specific mobility program that costs zero dollars. That's that's what the free, that's why I call it the free program. Do you get it? <laughs> this is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. I will get you next time.